am being observed. I live in a room within a semi-liquid 896, moving via telekinetic manipulation down the Marianas Trench at a speed of 12 knots. Among other functions, we form a close-up map of the intricacies of the Earth's surface. Tremendous computing power is available to us, terabytes of terabytes. We also leave a chemical trail other buildings follow. The buildings are like a nest of ants engaged in a six-dimensional game of torn but not marked cards. We ourselves are slightly phase shifted out of the temporal continuum. The interior of each building is afflicted with an artificial light. The walls are plain white. Each day I go to work, jacking into the liquescent mainframe to correlate all brain functions along dictates 1 to 5. If it was suspected that I was a discontent, my particles would be absorbed into the building using the orgasmatron. These would thus momentarily attain a high energy. One of a series of cloned guards follows my every dragging step. I know you are a discontent. Luckily, I am the only guard that knows, for I am the only one recently in your proximity. We can tell by your slightest movement. Our eyes magnify everything thousandfold. My ears can hear your nervous system. Take this gun. It inverts matter behind the nearest solid-like impediment. The atoms are irrevocably whirled through minute wormings of space-time. Thus the gun can penetrate anything. You will need it to defeat the clone guarding the AI on level 4. Talk to the AI construct. Good luck. For well, I am a faulty clone corrupted by a virus spreading via the bioelectromagnetics of my engineered nervous system. I detected the fault with a primitive magnetoencephalograph I managed to manufacture. Perhaps that fault is partly why I am a discontent. My clone span is limited. But you can take this place on and win. is identical to the discontent guard, but it is not he. This guard is another, a replica in almost every way and sense. I will kill you. My claws radiate arcing high voltage produced by intense piezoelectrics. Are you the AI? Yes, and you are a discontent. I am a parallel quantum computing device. I run on a sophisticated decision procedure and empathic randomizers replicate my subconscious functions. I detect you have a world-phasing weapon. There is hope. Here is what you are to do. I will telepathically implant in you directions to the secret room where the professor is held prisoner. She can guide you in a mind melt. We can control this telekinetically manipulated sludge, which slides and slushes down the ocean floor and tectonic cracks. Victory will be ours. A morphogenetic field is operative within my cranium. I feel it interfering with the replication of proteins in the cells of my brain tissue. The micro alterations furnish me with the full range of information. I require. I'm a level four guard, though I exist closer to level five. In effect, I'm a level 4.56 sentinel. I use superconductors in my claws to generate a hypertaser effect. I will kill you. So, 
At last I meet the discontent I have been hoping, waiting to meet. We are buried in the depths of slime here, scraping at the ocean floor. You can feel the heat of the Earth's core at times. Splendid to make the acquaintance of someone who does not just accept our lot. But you are too young to be the professor. Sometimes I'm a 72 year old woman, sometimes 27. I'm capable of altering my appearance at will using flesh control techniques. I alternate between these ages, perhaps as a comment on the nature of the adult phase, perhaps because at times one seems more fitting and then another. Take me as you see me. This painting has been my only company while I have been held prisoner in this cell of discontent. The work is called The Black Knob. What of its appearance, a door to another world, another time and place, where it was created maybe, or somewhere else again. Its sleekness reveals to the viewer how effort effortlessly it has slid through time and places to come upon us here at the bottom of the Marianas Trench. Its roundness recalls the globe of the earth, the totality of human experience, the march of history, its wide expanse, the nothingness from which we feel such a project arose. The dislocated position of the knob itself symbolizes the obtuseness of the understanding, the black coloration of course, nothing other than the black night of the soul. It backs from the wall as well, as though uncertain about its own status as art, or promising that obliquely we can make sense of and even sidestep its subject matter. Yes, and how many days have I contemplated on the black knob? Often they immobilize my mind here. This wall can effectively function as a neural probe. It scrambles what we have come to know as a dry spurt and Harris sequences in the frontal lobes. The black knob is all that has kept my mind alert and capable of what we now must do, a mind meld. With the addition of your discontent, psychic energy, we will be able to drive the last traces of inertia from my mind and I will be able to control not just the movements of the semi-liquid 896 in which we are housed, but through the erbium boosted psychic network, disrupt the cognition of the guards as well. We will insinuate our minds into the quadraphonic address system and tell everyone what is going on. At last, we will be free to decide what we are doing down here. Now, concentrate. how I'm guiding our minds, circumventing our needed channels to jack us into operational centres that integrate the grid with the liquidity of the mainframe. Here, the motion control for the 896. Observe the info flooding over your ordinary sense inputs, indicating how, with your help, I'm slowing the building down. Here, let us traverse this matrix, find the communication system. I launch the prepared message you see in your internal heads-up display, represented as a hypercube. Look. Let us turn our minds to the camera inputs where we find people ceasing work. So, we have won. Yes. <laughs>